Hi guys, uh, welcome to this channel uh, weekly and I am Narik. In this video we will be talking about uh, hyperledger functionalities and the mode of explanation would be through mind mapping. You can also download this mind map from the link provided below in the description. So before we get into this, uh, kindly subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all the new videos that are being uploaded in this channel. With so without any delay, let's get started. The main functionalities of Hyperledger Fabric are identity management, privacy and confidentiality, efficient processing, a chain code functionality and its modular design. This enables a very good permission network wherein different organizations can come together and form a an, uh, blockchain consortium. So the Hyperledger Fabric is the implementation of uh, digital ledger technology and it delivers the enterprise ready uh, network security, scalability, confidentiality and performance. Apart from that it is very modular. So when you talk about the first functionality of identity management, it enables the uh, network to uh, provide a membership identity service which will help to manage the user IDs and authenticates all participants in the network. When you say all the participants, there will be different organization and in different organizations would be having different participants. It also has the uh, access control list that can be used to provide additional layers of permission through authorization of a spe specific network operations. For example, uh, if you take an ID, uh, we can permit it to invoke the chain code application, but we can block from deploying a new chain code. This is how the identity management can be, uh, what you call, uh, uh, can be organized in the in the in the fabric uh, uh, fabric. Next comes the privacy and confidentiality. The hyperledger fabric uh, enables business interests, so that the businesses sometimes need a private confidential transactions to coexist on the same permission network. So you can form a private channels which can restrict the message paths and that can be used to provide transaction uh, you know uh, privately and confidentially uh, for a specific subsets of a network members so what happens is that all the data including like transactions members channel information on a channel are invisible or inaccessible to any network members who doesn't have the permission to the channel uh, efficient processing when you talk about the efficient processing uh, the nodes every node uh, in the network are assigned some roles so it provides the concurrency and parallelism to the network wherein the transaction execution is separated from the transaction ordering and commitment we'll talk about ordering and commitment in the next videos however just remember that the execution is separated from the transaction ordering and the commitment so when it when it allows the parallel processing, uh, it 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 what you call it unburdens the ordering nodes from the demands of transaction execution and ledger maintenance. So this allows in increase in the processing efficiency. The chain code functionality in all the other blockchain platforms you call it smart contracts, but the chain code when you talk about smart contract in in hyperledger fabric it is simply nothing but a business logic so uh, the chain code applications encode logic that is invoked by an uh, specific types of transactions on a channel and uh, and it defines parameters for the change in the asset ownership when you say asset is something that is measurable something that has the value so it, it defines the parameters of a change in the asset ownership it also defines the rules in the channels that means okay uh, specific organizations can be who are part of that channel that business logic is applied to them so that is how the chain code functionality can be done and the last functionality which is very important is the modular design when you talk about the modular design it's like something like plug and play so the hyperledger fabric allows this functionality which would allow uh, for identity consensus and and, and and encryption i mean you can you can bring a uh, your own certificate authority you can design your own certificate authority and you can 
plug it uh, with the membership service provider so that you have the control of what you're doing it so this allows any like it, it is something like universal blockchain architecture very i mean any industry can adopt to this so these are the major functionalities of the uh, fabric which allows to or to function as an ideal permissioned uh, network network and it is one of the uh, best advantages of the hyperledger fabric uh, thank you for uh, staying with me uh, we would be talking more about fabric in the next series of videos uh, till then sayonara